you guys it's your girl Deja D and by the title of this video you already know what we're going to be doing my short natural hair and just how I get my everyday go to style with it and how I've been styling it and everything when I wear it out I haven't worn my natural hair on YouTube in a minute I don't think no I wore it in my uh, makeup tutorial I'll leave that linked up in the cards in this video but be sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed when you're watching this video, it's been a year since I cut my big cut my hair off, and I'll leave that video and all my like previous like when I first my big chop vlog and you know my my big chop Q and A and everything like that. Let me know if you want me to do a part two, uh, update it like big chop vlog. Like did I regret it? Things I wish I knew. Things like that. So. Anywho, um, without further ado, I don't want this to be super, super long. Just be sure to subscribe, be sure to like, and give this video a comment if you like this content. And let's go ahead and get right into the tutorial. Hey, hey guys. So I'm starting off on some deep condition hair. The deep conditioner is actually still in my hair. And I also have some sea moss that I bought from my friend Sade. I'll leave her Instagram down in the description box so you all can get some. So I just have that in my hair and we're actually about to go ahead and rinse that out. So as you all see, this is my hair. I just rinsed out the sea moss and the deep conditioner and I just co-washed my hair. For this hairstyle, you're basically just gonna need three things. And first is gonna be a comb. You can use a wider comb depending on how thick your hair is. I'm good with this one. You're gonna need a clamp or like a scrunchie and some leave-in conditioner or some curling cream, whatever you wanna use. I'm just using this Cantu leave-in conditioner. And I literally apply this to my hair while it's still soaking wet. And I just put this all over my head, like literally all over the entire head. And then that's the last you're going to need of that. So I just like to cover my head all the way through. It makes it move a lot faster than putting product on each section. I have short hair, so I don't need to sit there and section off each, you know, I don't need to section off my hair and put all of that product. Sorry if y'all hear my dog pause. He's, he's doing a lot. <laughs> So right now I'm just grabbing off a section of my hair. Literally I just part it like this. None of my parts are perfect because this isn't box braids. I just like to section off my hair because at the end it's all just going to turn into a puff. So I'm grabbing that clip. You can use a scrunchie depending on how long your hair is. Mine is not ponytail grip and lift. So I just like to use this clip and I take my comb and I just detangle it. You could use your fingers but I use my comb and I just like you know detangle it and then I just start grabbing pieces and coiling it around my fingers so I'm gonna do a little close-up as you all can see but literally you just want to grab your curls as they naturally are and just twirl them together using your fingers I know a lot of people use your you know use combs and everything but this is just a lot easier for me and I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna show you all a little bit you know more detail As you all see now that I'm getting close I just took a little section of my hair and I'm just twirling it around my finger um, like I said I'm not really worried about parts because at the end you won't be able to see any sections or parts so I'm just grabbing little sections and pieces of my hair and making sure they're all combed and detangled out you can use your finger and I'm just twirling it around my hand and I'm just separating it and combing it pieces up Once I get to the front of the head I'm starting I'm gonna to start to do this a little differently so I like to section off the middle half or the back half of this part and do the front part forward just because I get my hair to go forward and 
you can't do the middle and then it's going to be hard for you to do the back of it first if you're making it go forward so i do the front part first so i just take it and i section it off and i'm just doing the front part going forward and also another tip is whatever way you coil the hair is the way that it's going to lay so if you coil it going backwards it's going to lay backwards so these ones i'm coiling going in the front to the side because i want it to be kind of like a side part so i'm coiling them forward and to the side as you all see they're laying over to the side hopefully this is very simple and you all are understanding but if not hopefully you can visually see what i'm talking about so if you are to coil them you see how the rest of my hair is going backwards or to the side or everything like that whatever way you coil them that's the direction you're going to go so just be sure that you're coiling them in that way if you want your hair to go backwards in the front you coil it going backwards but i'm coiling it going forward into the side because i want that front little side part So now I'm all done and I'm just gonna go through and make sure they're all nice and fully coiled through so that way it would dry. This took me, I let it dry over like a whole day. So this is the morning time when I'm fil filming this, like bright and early. And I just let it let, like air dry all day long. I didn't touch it or anything like that. You could do your edges or you could like do it in a different style. But I like to just let it be until it is completely dry. Because I feel that it lasts longer when you do that. So if you have any big, super big chunks, you can separate them a little bit. Especially if you're going to be wearing them out this day. But when you want your hair to fully dry before you go ahead and try to style it. So I'll be back in the morning. Oh, I thought I was recording the whole time, but I wasn't. But basically what I did was just take the coils that I did yesterday and just separate them. So when you separate them, you literally want to take the coil and grab it and split it in half naturally and then just make a smaller coil. And it's just lightly separating your hair so it could get more full. So as you all see, you can't really see the parting that we did anymore. And you just want to coil it how it naturally is. And just keep separating your hair until you are satisfied with the end result. After I separate it to, you know, I'm where I'm comfortable and where I like it, I just like to take a pick and just pick out my roots. Another thing to note is that the more you do to your hairstyle, the less like longer it'll last. So you could leave it like just separated one day and then the next day pick it out just to make your hairstyle last longer and to preserve it. So the more you do to it on day one is the least amount of time you'll have your hair. So usually I will just separate my hair wear that style one day and then I'll pick it out the next day but due to me wanting to do this video and show you all like you know the whole thing and the whole process due to demonstrational purposes I'm picking my hair out on day one but normally I would not do this
so the last thing we're going to do is our edges i'm taking this miracle grow edge control and this like old edge toothbrush that i use and i'm just doing some swirls i'm not perfect at edges i just like do what i like to do so you know you could do your own little twist to this it's not a specific way but i just like to do some edges on here and you don't have to do this this is very optional but i think it just you know helps tie the look together you know <laughs> but i'm just doing some edges and we're going to be all done so i hope you all enjoyed this video this is the final look Purr. <laughs> this is the final look um, I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comment section. If you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe. And I'll see you all on the next upload. Um, my uploading schedule is every Monday and Friday. And then every other Sunday, I post the Deja Chat. So, see you all on the next upload. Bye. Signing off. Bye. <laughs>